finally Friday. Finally. It's been a beautiful week all week long until, until Friday. Friday. And what? it's going to rain all weekend. So. At least it's not a cold rain. Yeah. You know, and it's not thundering. So if kids want to go outside and play with their boots in the mud hole, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> it just sucks that it's all, every weekend it's rained just about. So. It has. But it, how long was it? You know, no tornadoes, no nothing like that. Nobody loses their homes. I'm okay. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. What? What cool new stuff y'all got this week? Well, nothing really new came in, but we had somebody order these and I thought it was kind of interesting. So, Mako has, I guess, their version mm -hmm. of the slip joint pliers, the push button. Yeah. You know, uh, we partner with Nipix. Nipix did a special color right. for Mako. Well, somebody ordered these out of the flyer and I thought they'd be pretty interesting. So those are the... These are Mako? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the manufacturer of it. Just to be like 100%. You know, sometimes they're different. I know Nipix didn't do these. So let me... I'm gonna open them up for you real quick. But yeah, somebody ordered these. And I told them, because they have the green, the Nipix green too. And they said, well, I just want both. <laughs> I guess you can't ever have too many. No. The Nipix Cobras is the king of pliers, in my opinion. They are. I, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I carry the fours around. Michael carries the fives. And we have two different, the tens and the sevens in the truck. Mm -hmm. so just in case, you know. But yeah, so... These are their sevens. Okay. And they have a quite a bigger button. So they're the same texture, you know, that you, right. you know. The smooth. Yeah. But they're pretty nice. I mean, if you I don't know if I have a pair of Nipix right off hand. Well those Knipex is hard to beat. They are. But I mean that's I know people talk about the price of them like versus something like this oh yeah that green rubber must be really expensive <laughs> it well, must be crazy. it's like a one of a kind kind of thing because you can't yeah. just get online from nipix and order something that's mm -hmm. green handled which is awesome you know but on the other hand you have the more price friendly you know yeah but like you said once you go nipix it's kind of hard to go back it is but you have this option now don't so. nobody want the second best tool <laughs> like nobody's ever walked on here and says, what's your second best tool on the truck? Everybody wants no, the best one. We had people get on here and say, well, what's the the, the best price friendly, mm -hmm. you know, socket set we have? Or what's the, you know, like screwdrivers. Um, so yeah. we have the big set that's right here that is our most common to sell. Yeah, that's my, that's the ones. I bought the orange ones from you guys and then I ended up buying these yep. because of the color. How about that? Color sales, huh? Hey, it does. But Ain't nothing wrong with color. I love the color of those. It's kind of a yellowy green. Mm -hmm. It's not the pure yep. and then, green. So you have that set yep. and then you have like a smaller set. Mm -hmm. So it just, I guess it all depends. Those, on in my opinion, buy. are the best handles on the market. Period. These, yes. Yeah. I like the fact that they have like the it has to be kind of like a grip on there. So yeah. whenever your hands are oily, if you don't wear gloves, or even if you do, you know, when you're turning it, it's not slipping. Yeah. So it comes Those in handy. Good. They are. So what do you think about the interlocking trays? We actually had a lot of people like that because they like the, I think it was the four, like the little mm -hmm. yeah, the honeycomb shape. They were like, well, can you take them apart? No, you can't take them apart without breaking them. But these, and they're easy to lock. Yeah. So Let's see how it's got the little clip. Yep. And then you have the, the new nine inch one too. So, and it can, it has a clip on it so you can add it to your rest of them. That's I just had to cool. make sure we could all fit them right there, so. Yep, I like those. They come in handy and I didn't realize this until somebody asked the other day. They said one of theirs got lost and they didn't want the same color again. They wanted to add, I think it was the green one. So we could actually order it individual. Cool. So, so if a guy wanted all four green, and get all four green. Yep, we'll just order That's them all by fun. themselves. 
I like those flexible magnetic rails too for yes. sockets. Those are cool. Well, the good thing is, you know, you have your pry bar holder, which you can mm -hmm. have it in blue or green, and then you have your socket holder there that can be blue or green, your wrenches. So, yep, that's cool. They come in handy, especially if you wanted to organize stuff by color. Yep. Everybody likes the colors. Yep, ain't nothing wrong with Definitely. that. Definitely. I figured you ought to have sold them pliers by now. Oh, we have. We went through the one that we showed, actually sold it at the next shop, and then we had that whole top area full, and now it's kind of gone. So we've got three cool. sets left. So That's cool. They like the fact that you can get the different kinds mm -hmm. and then also have the little bag with it. Yep. A lot of people said they were just going to throw their tools in their toolbox and keep their bag, you know, for something else. I figured y'all have done another roll cart bundle by now. We are. We it's are. Time to, it's time to do one. It is. We're actually thinking about maybe throwing in like, you do the bundle, you get a chance to win something. And we're thinking about a gun, but we're not 100% which one yet. So it's coming. That's cool. <laughs> Everybody loves those roll cart bundles. They're hard to beat. Oh yeah. Did you ever get the wobble sockets straightened out again where they was back order for so long or they're actually shipping pretty well right now oh, so that's good. i know that's a, a lot of thing. people was ready for them you know to they were to come back in i so. think we finally got everybody that had them ordered we finally got them all situated so well did my speaker come in not yet <laughs> oh well well, can't use it this weekend, no way. <laughs> it's too wet. Well. See, think of the positive. Can't That's use it. it right now. That's so. right. I'll, hopefully next week will get better. Yeah. We had somebody, they actually stuck it on their side by side. Yeah. They, the magnetic strip on the back, they stuck it, but they also took some zip ties and zip tied around it. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, something don't get trust the magnet? I don't know. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know if they were just trail riding <laughs> or if they were, you know. I know, I, I know, uh, you probably get on TikTok and stuff, but Vim had did a Instagram reel and a TikTok where they showed how strong their magnetic rails were. They put a set of sockets on their RZR and like oh. they was jumping heels with it. I mean like crazy stuff and it showed that all those sockets stayed well, that's in awesome. place. Like that was a really cool video. I'd go check that out then. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It was, <laughs> it's definitely worth the watch. Like. I own some of those magnetic rails and I knew they was good. I didn't know they was that good. Some of you are still doubting the strength of our mag rails, so we're going to put it to the ultimate test. So we're going to stick this magnetic rail with these quarter inch torx drivers onto this bar right here. And see if it holds on during the ride. And notice this is a very round bar and a very flat rail. Check it out. Well, I guess if there you're, you, you know, in a service truck or, I mean, oh, yeah. heck, on a side-by-side, -side, you have to, something breaks, you have to have tools with you. <laughs> like they just stuck it on the round bar so it wasn't even making full contact, you know, on a flat surface. Oh, wow. It's nuts, that video. Like it's, they did a great job on that one. So <laughs> if you guys aren't following them, be sure to watch oh, yeah. that because they did some really cool videos, so. I know they were really neat to meet at Expo. Yeah. Which that whole, that whole, team down there is amazing like mm -hmm. you know the the story and i've tried to get uh you know the son mm -hmm. me and him talk a good bit and i've tried to get him to release the story on how his dad got to where he's at and, yeah. and the company the way they've grown in over the years it was it's the best story ever like yeah it's it's really good but well it's neat that they keep it in the family yep. also yeah. it's not you know they mm -hmm. it's cool like they're that's probably the best run tool company in the world. I They're would say. very organized. They get, they know their stuff. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what you gotta have. So yeah, it's, they're a great team down there. <laughs> I'm very fortunate to have been blessed to 
get to meet them and know them like I do. So I'll always support them. They're good guys. They are. All right, guys. Well, that's Friday. Finally, the week is over. So you guys can have a little fun maybe this weekend. I guess mm -hmm. we'll be doing inside stuff since it's raining. Or playing in the mud. One that's or the right. Other. Hey, they got that mud thing tomorrow at Fulton, you know, that mud bog fest well, thing. Say, look, so. this rain's helping out. There you go. It's good for everybody. <laughs> All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discounts is in the description. There's some new stuff in there, so be sure to check it out. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, click the button. You guys have a great week. See ya.